In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a fade from black and white over to color. Now, in iMovie, there isn't an actual built-in fade or keyframing tool. So what I'm going to show you how to do is do it manually. But it still looks pretty cool, and I think it's a cool effect. So first, you want to make sure you put in your timeline what you're going to use. So I'm going to use the racing footage from the last video, but it'll still work. So in this situation, I'm have everything sped up in the beginning. I have a time lapse. Now what I want to do is I want to fade this from black and white to color. So the first thing I'm going to do is double click on here and I'm going to take this saturation all the way down because that's how I want my black and white. Then I'm going to move this. I'm going to figure out where one second is. So the best way to do that is drag it out till you see the one second. Now I'm going to split it there. And I'm going to do that a couple more times. Okay, so now I have three one second clips. So up here I have the black and white. Now in this clip, I'm going to go to video. And since black and white is 0%, I'm going to go, we'll do 25%. Then in this one, I'm going to go, let's do 55 We'll do 60%, and in the last one, we'll do 100%. So now, watch what happens. So now you have now you have a pretty nice fade. Now if you want to, I've seen people do this they've done five one second clips and they've done think around fifteen to twenty percent up every single clip I think twenty percent on five clips until you get to a hundred so I will make a couple more one second clips and show you what that ver that one looks like and you want to make all the clips the same size when you do this or else it won't look as crisp Okay, so I'll make the first clip here 10, 20. Okay, 21, because it won't stay on 20. Then we'll make the next one. 40. This one, 60. This one, 80. 81 and then here you can make it 95 or you can just let it go to 100 so for this one I'm just going to leave it at 100 so this is what this will look like from the beginning black and white time lapse and then the fade comes in. Now another thing you can do to make your colors pop out more is in here, 
in the video, I like to boost the contrast or lower the con not in this situation lower for black and white. So if you boost it, look how much the black and white sticks out with the whites and blacks. And then you can go here and you can do the same thing. You can boost this. So now you have a really you have boosted colors. And if you ever need to check, you can all your percents are right here. So if you ever want to compare them, you can make sure everything else is the same. So that's it for today's tutorial. I should have a couple more this week, maybe even another one today.